everybody, it's Leadership Architect Martha Wilson. Great to see you. Welcome to the beginning of a new week. So I wanted to pop in quickly. Um, just because, So depending on when you're watching this video here in the United States, last week was, ele was election week. <laughs> Not election day, election week. And you know, the truth is this this process, this evolution, whatever we're going through right now, it's going to continue for a little while. That's actually not what I want to talk about today. So you can take a deep breath. But what I do want to talk about is something that was coming up with a client I was working with just this past week. And we were talking about the stress, the anxiety, the tension that she was experiencing in her world. And I'm going to spare you the long story in the beginning and just cut to the chase because here's the thing. When you're looking at social media, in the news, even in your own life with your colleagues, your team, your clients, people in your family, your friends, we are in a time of turmoil. Again, not specifically related to the election. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't, but there seems to be a lot of turmoil and I'm hearing a lot of against. I'm against this person, Republicans against Democrats, Democrats against Republicans, against violence, against this, again, and all of these things are things that it sounds like you should be against depending on your point of view. But I want to talk about the difference between standing against versus standing for. Standing against or specifically fighting against, pushing against, as opposed to standing for. What are you standing for? Because when you're pushing against something, when you're battling against something, like I said, against anything, against another party, against another person, against another position, against even, even something as simple as I am against, I'm battling against cancer. I have a family member who is in the middle of that right now. But when you're battling against what you wind up doing is burning up a whole lot of physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual energy focused on the one right way. Because when you're pushing against something, that's taking all of your energy and pointing it to one single solution. And I will tell you, <laughs> after all these many years on the streets conducting clandestine operations, there's more than one way to get to the goal. It's never about one single solution. When you are standing for, now you're open to possibilities. Now you're open to opportunities. Now you're open to avenues that you couldn't see before. So what are you standing for? I will tell you what I stand for. I stand for personal responsibility. I stand for each individual pursuing that next highest level of joy and personal power for themselves, for themselves. I stand for expanding your capacity. And in, in, the, mod, in the words of Jim Rohn, slightly modified, this is my modified version, don't wish it was better. Don't wish it was different. Grow yourself to handle whatever's coming your way. And that's what I'm standing for. I'm standing for expanding capacity. I'm standing for that next highest level of you. That next highest level of joy, that next highest level of fun, that next highest level of impact, making a difference, personal power and personal responsibility. That's what I stand for and I will stand for you to do the same. So that's my message for you today. I'd love to hear from you. What are you standing for? What are you standing for? Just pop it in the comments, or if you got this via email, reply to the email and let me know. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.